believe there is nothing artificial about the A in the AI today, uh, especially the way we use it, right? We collect public data, we analyze it, we analyze it using proven algorithms in behavioral science in business when we do the SWOT analysis, for example. So there is nothing artificial about it. And, you know, the, ha having said that, Shika, there's a lot of trepidation in the market. You know, people are spreading a lot of rumors and kind of, you know, misdemeanors about what is the role of AI, how it will replace humans, and, you know, it will, uh, it's not at that level right now. It's an assisted level. It's there to assist us. And, you know, it will always be there to assist us because humans can think beyond, right? Instead of me, me performing menial tasks in doing research, you know, going on LinkedIn and looking at people, going on the internet, searching through Google or Bing now, and, and then, you know, sitting back and trying to second guess and, and put a lot of guesswork into crafting emails or communications, right? All of that can be removed with this assisted intelligence idea. Because, for example, XIQ, right? Before XIQ, salespeople or marketing people spend a lot of time in thinking about who is the person they're going to be talking to, understand their persona, try to put themselves into their shoes quite unsuccessfully, then crafting an email. And most of people in sales and marketing are not English majors, right? So right there, there's a language impediment that comes on top of trying to understand, you know, who you're communicating to. And it took a long time, you know, anyway from you know, a couple of hours to a day to write a good, decent quality email. And that was also hit and go. And that was for one person. And then, you know, your boss and your, you know, sales leaders are asking you to do so much outreach, send thousand emails a week, what have you, personalized to everybody. You can't do that. So the cookie cutter approach comes in. And I'm sure you've received a lot of these emails. I received a lot of these emails that are you know, hey, did you look at my email from last week or did you look at my email from two weeks? And that just, you know, just turns people off, right? It's like you haven't bothered to invest time in understanding and personalizing. So that's, that was a big, you know, concern. So today with XIQ, for example, and now with our integration in chat GPT, we can pick up the, the user, the person who's using our platform, comes in, puts input, I want to write about... Uh, my solution, but I wanted to address the pain points of my client, right? So identify three key pain points of my clients where my solution will be able to address it and then convert that into a value proposition and even return on investment numbers. If that's a huge task for anyone, let alone a salesperson. But now this task, using XIQ and ChatGPT, we can perform that in 10 seconds, right? Think about that. Right. And we can perform that for every individual that of every one of those thousand individuals that you need to reach out to.